I'm Rob Sorensen with Time to Football, and here is my breakdown of the top five quarterback prospects in the 2019 NFL Draft. It has to be noted that the 2019 draft is being considered pretty weak at the quarterback position, and with potential franchise saviors like Tua Tungavailoa and Trevor Lawrence right around the corner, teams may be hesitant to pull the trigger on drafting a quarterback in this year's draft. Number 5 is Ryan Finley. Finley is a fifth-year senior out of NC State, which means he brings experience and leadership. However, he does not have a lot of the physical skills you'd want to see out of an NFL quarterback. Finley is best at running a quick passing offense where he can make pre-snap reads and get the ball to his first option as quickly as possible with an accurate throw. And that's really where his strengths end. He does not have the arm strength needed to get the ball to the intermediate and deep areas of the field consistently, and he really struggles progressing through his reads if his first option is taken away. Because of all this, he projects to be a high-end backup in the NFL, with a chance to be a game-managing starter if needs be. Number 4 is Drew Locke. Locke is a classic gunslinger. He has a huge arm and has the ability to throw an accurate deep ball while in the pocket or on the run. His highlight tape is full of beautiful throws like that. However, between those highlights are a lot of bad decisions, and Locke is the type of quarterback where bad decisions compound on themselves and turn into more bad decisions. If you're into starting job, he'll definitely have some 400 yard games. However, he'll probably have some 4 interception games as well, and you'll take the good with the bad. Most scouts are calling Drew Locke a Blaine Gabbert type player with the potential to be a Patrick Mahomes, and that's probably true. I think he'll settle comfortably into a poor man's Jay Cutler type player. Some high highs followed by low lows. The potential is definitely there, but it will take the right coach to get it out of him just like Andy Reid has done with Mahomes. Number 3 is Daniel Jones. Jones is your typical high ceiling, low floor project quarterback. He has the arm, mind, and natural athleticism to be a very good NFL player, but he just hasn't put it all together yet. He would benefit from sitting behind a veteran quarterback for a year or two while the coaching staff works with him. NFL scouts consistently say he needs to rework his throwing mechanics to tighten his motion and get the ball out quicker. He also needs to get better inside the pocket. At this point in his career, he is also pretty limited schematically. He would be most at home in a West Coast system where he won't be tasked with constantly throwing deep because of his inconsistency in those situations. If he's able to put it all together, Daniel Jones could be a very good quarterback in the same vein as Carson Wentz. If he doesn't, he is a worse version of Ryan Tannehill. Number 2 is Kyler Murray. If Murray was 6'2 with no off the field baggage, he would easily be the top prospect in this draft. He is the best peer passer in the draft and the best at making big plays with both his arms and his legs. He has the potential to be an MVP caliber player in the NFL. Unfortunately, his size and off the field baggage are very real concerns. Murray measured 5'10 at the NFL Combine, however his height is not really my biggest concern. He is a skinny 5'10", whereas someone like Russell Wilson, who Murray is often compared to, has a thicker build. I am genuinely worried about Murray's ability to take consistent abuse at the NFL level. We all saw what happened to Robert Griffin III after a few years in the NFL. I'm worried a few big hits could send Kyler Murray down a similar path. On top of those physical concerns, Murray has some unique baggage. He was previously drafted in the first round of the MLB draft and has already signed a multi-million dollar contract with the Oakland Athletics. His dedication to football is a big question mark and the fact that he is reportedly terrible at interviews isn't helping calm those fears. Is he going to have the dedication to stick with football after a few big hits or a couple nagging injuries when he has the option to play a less violent sport and still make his money? I know that's something I'd struggle with in his position, and from the viewpoint of an NFL team, you don't want to waste a first round pick on a guy who might leave your team to play another sport. The problem is Kyler Murray is so talented you almost have to consider drafting him anyway. Number 1 is Dwayne Haskins. Haskins is the most polished quarterback in this class, but he's not without his faults. He has a big arm and has proven to be capable of making all the throws, however his accuracy is inconsistent on deeper passes. He has the best pocket presence of any quarterback in this draft, however he lacks mobility and has a tendency to hold the ball too long. He is great at identifying coverages pre-snap, however he needs to work on his post-snap reads. Haskins is the most surefire thing at the quarterback position in this draft, and it's likely that he will be a very solid NFL player but it's hard to picture him becoming an elite one. YouTuber Samuel Gold did a fantastic in-depth breakdown of Haskins, pointing out some of his strengths and mechanical weaknesses. Gold compares Haskins favorably to Kirk Cousins and adds that he could really thrive in a West Coast offense. I agree with his breakdown and recommend you watch his video. So these are my top five quarterbacks in this draft. Again, it's a pretty weak draft, and I think in a normal year, Dwayne Haskins and Kyler Murray would be fringe first round picks. Leave a comment and let me know who you like. 
Like this video and subscribe to the channel for more NFL Draft content.